training and working that hard, but let me tell you, I've been putting out 100% uh, for two years now. And what's it like between you and Fignol now? What did he say to you on the podium? Oh, he said congratulations, but what can you say? If I was in his shoes, I would be uh, very upset to lose the Tour de France uh, by eight seconds. But uh, I think I would have been more upset if I would have lost it by one second. <laughs> Is it the same as when Greg won his first Tour de France or just a little bit different? It's a hundred million times better. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't it just 2,023 miles they've been and Le Monde won it by just eight seconds. Let's confirm that for you by taking a final look at the overall classification. There we are, Le Monde, Fignon, Delgado, Tanisa and La Jaretta, the surprise, as we've said, of this year's Tour. And uh, the other jerseys, let's run through those for you, shall we? Uh, starting with the green... Uh, the over uh, Motti, I'm sorry, we're still with the overall classification there, aren't we? Motti, six. Rook, seven. Alcala, eight. Kelly, nine. Miller, ten. That's what we were waiting for, wasn't it? And the other jerseys, the green, the points winner, Sean Kelly from the PDM team. And on we go. Red, the sprints, the catch sprints. That, of course, Sean Kelly from the PDM team. King of the Mountains, Gert Jan Turnisa, also from the PDM team. The combined jersey, the best performances, Stephen Rooks from the PDM team. The best young rider, Fabrice Filippo, from F uh, the TOS team. And not surprisingly, the top team, the PDM team from Holland. They've virtually cleaned up, haven't we? Well, that's not the end of the cycling yet on Channel 4 this season. We can look forward to the Tour of Britain in August. And before that, we have the Wing Canton Classic, which we mentioned last weekend. That's part of the World Cup series. The first time such an event has been staged in this country. And before he went to France, Phil Liggett was in Newcastle, finding out what it's all about. ND with a prologue two and a half mile time trial. Hopefully we'll see Joey in action on that. But um, Dundee to Glasgow uh, by rail, first time by rail, intercity down to Manchester, our old favourite starts, across to Liverpool, and then we start again in Chester, down to Birmingham, and then the, the hardest stage of the tour perhaps, Birmingham to Cardiff before a road transfer into Westminster, into Westminster for our criterium finish. We look forward to those two. Thank you, Mick, for joining us tonight. Thank you to Joe McLaughlin. Yep. You'll be fit for the Tour of Britain, but not next week's Wincanton Classic. No, but definitely for the Tour of Britain. Thank you both. It's been Thank great you. to be in your company. So that's the Wincanton Classic then. A reminder about the Tour of Britain, which starts, as Mick was saying, in Dundee on August the 29th, and we've got a preview programme on Monday the 28th for that event. There'll be coverage right through the week on Channel 4 of Britain's top cycle race. Next week at the same time, we'll be in Newcastle for that Wincanton Classic. Greg LeMond will be there too. Thanks for your company these past three weeks, and we'll leave you tonight with the man who made the impossible dream come true. Good night. Pedal Power continues next this evening with an examination of the machine which will be purchased by two million people this year. Its ecological soundness and efficiency have made the humble bicycle an extremely desirable and glamorous product, and Equinox looks at the intricacies of the green machine in a few minutes.